we're going to do two examples. The first example <coughs> is the definite, we're going to estimate the definite integral from 0 to 4 of x squared dx with four uniform partitions. All right, so we're going to talk about how to do that trapezoidal approximation with uniform partitions. And then we're going to compare our estimate with the numerical estimate using our calculator. So we're going to talk about how to use a calculator to estimate the definite integral of a given function. All right, so the definite integral from 0 to 4 uh, x squared dx is just the area between the function x squared and the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals 4. So we're really trying to estimate this area using trapezoidal approximations. All right. So we have four subintervals. They're going to look like this. All right, so I could draw those trapezoids kind of looking like this. So I'm going to calculate the area of each one of these trapezoids and then just add up those four areas. Right. In this case, the x values that are delineating our trapezoids are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to write out our estimate. And there's a few things as you're working these problems you should need to get in the habit of doing. Draw a sketch. It doesn't have to be a perfect graph, but draw a sketch of what's happening. This is x squared. I'm breaking it up into four uniform partitions. Here are the partitions themselves. So it allows me to visualize what's going on here. All right. And then the next thing is to write out your trapezoidal approximation in function notation. So I have the width is 1. And then b1 and b2 are the function value at x equals 0. That's f of 0. And the b2 is this height right here. And it's defined as the function value at x equals 1. So it's those two added together divided by 2. The next trapezoid still has a, has, a, has a width of 1. Now it's f of 1 plus f of 2 divided by 2, and so on. All right, once we do that, then we can just evaluate it. So we know that f of x <coughs> is x squared. So these are easy to evaluate. f of 0, 0 squared is 0, plus 1 squared is 1, over 2 is 1 half times 1, that's where this 1 half comes from. 1 squared plus 2 squared is 5, 5 over 2. 2 squared plus 3 squared, 13 over 2. 3 squared plus 4 squared, 25 over 2. And we add those up, we get approximately 22. All right, so this is our trapezoidal approximation. We are saying that the definite integral of x squared from 0 to 4 is approximately equal to 22 square units. Now let's see how we can do that with our calculator. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to put our function, it's the function itself, into y equals. So I'm going to put x squared into y equals. Then I'm going to quit out of there. All right, so I'm going to do second, um, sorry, not second, alpha f2, and then go down to number four, function integration. So I'm asking the calculator to estimate this definite integral from x equals 0 to x equals 4 dx of x squared. Now I have a choice. I can either type in x squared. That'll work fine. Or since I already have it in y1, I have this function put in y1 already. I can do uh, alpha f4, y1. This is not so much necessary here, but if I have a more complicated function, it's nice to just be able to type it in once and then reuse it. When I do that, the calculator's numerical estimate, again, it's not an exact area, but it's an estimate. It's a good estimate of the area underneath. Uh, the curve y equals x squared between 0 and 4, x equals 0 and x equals 4.